Hello, here's a quick video on how to install a auxiliary contact on a GE size one starter. This is a CR306 series. Um, if your starter like this doesn't have any auxiliary contacts and you need to add one, it's really easy to do. You pull up this tab here on one side of the coil and on the other corner, same thing, then remove the contact assembly the coil and contact assembly, it's all one piece, pulls out of there. Uh, if you don't have any auxiliary contacts in there, there'll be a plastic shield or barrier in one side. You'll wanna pull that out and then just slide your auxiliary contact into that space where you just remove that barrier. And it'll just push down into place like that. You'll then place the contact assembly back in, put the tabs in place, and you're good to go. And uh, you can see when you push down, you can see that the auxiliary contact is actuating. Verify it with a meter. Simple as that. And it's the same procedure if you're doing any on the uh, other side of the starter. You can see this one still has that barrier in there. So you can put auxiliary contacts on both sides at the same time if need be.